Hi, uh, yes, we are going to go do the textures on the face, the freckles, but I also forgot that we didn't do the veins in the eye, so let me finish that up. I went to the internet and I, um, I searched for eye veins, and I'm going to use an image that I found just to make a selection from. I'm not going to put it in my file so there's no plagiarism involved or anything. I'm just going to use it to make a selection from. So I'm going to right hand click and save that image. I'll just call it veins to the desktop for now and then I'm gonna put away this and then I'm gonna right hand click and open that in Photoshop now I want to um, simply make a good selection of it okay so I'll bring it into the other file in a minute but I'm gonna hit command L to level this off so I brighten it up so things turn white and dark and now um, I don't want to lose the little veins that are in there, okay? And I really want to make it black and white because that's going to help me. So I'm just going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. I'm going to take the Hue and Saturation window here and just desaturate it. So I made it black and white. I could have left it RGB and I wanted to leave it RGB. I didn't need to convert it to black and white, okay? So let me hit Command L again and let's now um, up the white in here and let's increase the dark in here and now up the white a little bit not too much and now that should be enough veining going on hopefully it's not too much okay and um, again I can do what I want here and um, it will turn out just fine because I can use the layer mask on the eye to eliminate what I don't want so I'm gonna obviously paint it in colors of red that's what the veins are and we'll just go from there. So I'm going to actually um, hit Command T on this image after I actually make it like this uh, into a layer. So I just double clicked it and I'm going to hit Command T and I'm going to flip it around because I really want the veins going in that direction. There's a ton of ways in Photoshop to flip it around and I want it to go really, I really want it to go about in this direction. Um, so I'm going to invert it like this again there's a bunch of ways to do that and I think that's in a better direction now for the eye that I'm using okay and I'm gonna stretch it out a little farther so let me hit the return key let's right hand click and let's send this to my always goes on my other screen and let's send this to my face illustration now I can um, hit command tilde on that and it'll go right to my face illustration and then somewhere in here is the reference layer that I just sent. I have to locate it. Uh, was it layer 50? Let me see if layer 50 was it. And let's go back on it. And there it is up there. So let's go layer 50. Yes, that was it. Let's zoom in. Let's hit Command T on this. And let's put this in about the right area for her eye and let's come down in size that looks pretty good in that general vicinity right there just to make a selection of it now all I really have to do is hit invert and I have the veins that I want okay um, I really would like that to go into more black and more white so I'll try command L on it again I really should duplicate it so I don't mess up my original which is a smart thing to do. So let on um, this one, let me just go like this and let's increase the black in here and let's increase the white in here and let's do the middle tone so it comes in. I don't want to lose all those neat veins and let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to make a selection of that layer but in order to do this in the right way I can't just make a selection of the layer it'll only grab the pixels on the outer edge right but I can hit command C on that turn it off deselect it go to my channel palette go make a new channel on the bottom is a blank channel now I can hit command V to paste and in that one I should have um, somewhere in there it should be there let me um, 
Okay, I don't know if I grabbed it actually. So let me do it again. Let me command click it, command C it, click to here, um, show it, turn off. Oh, you know why? <laughs> Jeez. Um, do you want to know what I think I just did? No, I'm fine. Um, I didn't isolate it. I had to click on it. Now if I hit Command V, the little guy should be there somewhere on this file. It should be there. The white and the black. So let me see what I'm doing wrong. Um, not doing anything wrong. Let me click on it again. Let's get close on it. Make sure I am correct. And it should be a command C. I'm not doing anything wrong. That is, I'm so allowed to paint this on here. Let's go over here. Okay, it took me three times. I did the same thing each time. I think I should maybe purge Photoshop, okay? So let's go purge all. And now, um, the nice part about this is I have the selection I'm looking for, so I can take the B key, paint at about 50%, and now paint out. Whoops, I made it too big. Let's paint out what I don't want in here. So let me make the brush a little bit like this. You know, your, um, your ability and my ability and everybody's ability in Photoshop to do what you want is based on how well you understand what all the things can do and you know one of those why I'm saying all this is um, I'm, I like that vein here I like some of that and then I just can erase it on a layer mask so let me just take this away it's probably too big to do the job that I want but you know what it's okay um, I can come in here and I can actually now make a selection of this and then did you know that I could just contract a selection and contracting a selection will probably do what it is I want. Now let me click back up to the RGB image so we have that where we want. Let me turn off layer 50 and let's go now make a selection of that new channel. I should name it I. I should name it veins. Let's make a selection of it and now do you see how it's turned into the proper veins in a selection. So if I click up here, there's my veins. Now, um, I probably need to hit Command T. I'm sorry, you can't hit Command T. You gotta go to Transform Selection. And let me just move it in the right way and move it up in the right way and let's see if I can compress it and just do a couple of things that are gonna make this look okay. I don't know how this is gonna look. So um, I'm just gonna start the process. So let's just see. I might have to go get a different one but I just want to see if it's going to work. So I'm going to go get this color in here, which is this nice red that I'm going to make. Let me make sure I'm in the right. That's the red I want. So let's zoom in and get this tone red here. And then I need to obviously go into a deeper red. More like this red. Okay, let's see if that's going to work. And I might need to contract that selection, okay? And just because the selection is stopping here doesn't mean it hasn't grabbed a whole bunch of other little things. So um, let me hit Command H. Let's turn off the clicky copy. Let me hit the V key and right hand click right there and it will immediately go to my eye white layer. As you can see, it's right there. So I have eye detail, eye detail, eye detail, eye detail. Let's go up to the top of eyes and put in the veins. So let me move this up. Wow, do I have a lot? Okay, I, I even had an eye vein layer ready. Wow, that's pretty cool. So let's go in now and make a selection of it and let's start to paint in the veins that I want. Let me Z back because Mr. Silly was actually painting them at 50% and I should be down to five. So let's go up like this and now I can paint in the eye veins and you can see that that's got a beauty. It's actually gorgeous. It actually did a really good job of painting in those veins. All right. Now, um, and I'm going to use my capabilities of layer masks and everything else to minimize those. So um, this is what I want to do. I want to hit 
Command H and see where the selection is. Now I want to go up to transform the selection and I want to turn them. So let me see how big the selection is. Um, see that should there should be a transform box there and there's not. Let me go in. Okay, why that took so long to do. Let me flip it and let's move it over so it's in a different area here. And then I'm going to put a few more veins right in there. So let's hit the return key, let's hit command H, and now let's paint a few more veins inside of here. And I don't want to make her too veiny, but I want there to be enough veins in that eye to make work. Now let's hit command H, let's um, hit the um, M key for marquee, and I'm going to move this over to here to put a couple more veins on the bottom over here. Now let's hit Command H to hide it, hit the B key, and let's put in more veins on the bottom. And then let's now eliminate that. So um, let's eliminate where we don't want. So let's move this over, hit Command H, and let's hit the B key, and I'll paint a couple more right there. Now. Um, obviously I need to add the layer mask, so, so let's go Command D the selection, let's go find the inner eye white, so let's Command click it, let's add a feather to it, actually with it selected on this eye vein layer, I'm going to click the layer mask button, and it got rid of what I didn't want, see, it got rid of everything outside of it. Now. Let's deselect, let's hit the B key, and let's make sure that we are minimizing what I have here. Make sure my brush is all the way soft. And now let's minimize this here. Let's minimize all of this so it's barely showing up. And now let's get back on it, and let's see that this young lady has veins in her eye now, and I need, I don't mind that they're like that, that's fine, but now let's turn the opacity down on them so they're not so prominent. So let's just minimize the opacity until they're just barely showing up. And now I have the veins in the eye. Now um, I need the veins in the other part of the eye. So what I should do is make a selection of those veins and then keep on painting on the vein layer or make a new one. So if I, I'll make a point here. Um, I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to take the second one, turn off the first one, and I'm going to hit the um, Command D and I'm going to hit the V key and I'm going to move these veins over to this side. And I'm going to flip them. So let's hit Command T and flip them around this way. So I have now veins right there, see? Now, all I have to do is change the layer mask. So if I right hand click and delete the layer mask right there, all I have to do is now add a new layer mask. And to tell you the truth, they should be below the retina, not above all the pupil. I meant the pupil. So now that I'm thinking of this, these guys need to move below the pupil shapes. So I now have them below the pupil shapes. But I still want this one to have a mask on it. So I need to go back to the inner eye white without the little shapes there. So I'm going to subtract that. Okay, wait a minute. Let me Z back. I have to find the tear ducts. I thought those were the tear ducts. So... Um, do you remember um, a long time ago, <laughs> I actually had the eye, the eyes without, I even said there were whites with no tear areas. There, that's perfect. Now, um, let me um, command click on that path to turn it off. And with that selected, let me click on the um, key right there on the um, add the layer mask. And now I have that done in the right way. So now I have my veins of the eye on both sides, and I can now minimize the opacity on them. And you can just see how beautiful that is. It actually adds a realism to the whole effect. Now maybe I should come back in um, and up the opacity of that. This is the one that's on the left-hand side of that eye. And I'm going to up the opacity, and let me see if they actually go farther. Um, this is something that I want you to see. 
I want, I know I have more veins over here where I'm pointing. Now, I want the mask to stay put, but I want the veins to move over to the left. I want them to come a little closer to the pupil. So I uncheck, make sure I'm on the right one, which is this one. I uncheck the link button. Now by unchecking the link button, the mask stays put, and you see how I can move the veins farther over to the retina. Did you see how I did that? I think that's pretty cool. So you can um, use it like a mask that is in stable position and the image moves. Or I could have clicked over here to the mask and moved the mask and the veins wouldn't have moved. That was would have been silly. But now I want to do the same thing on this side um, in the capacity that um, if I turn on the clicky copy, um, I want to remove some of the veins right here. So I'm going to click on the, let me make sure I'm on the right one, I am, and hit the B key. And now I want to take a little bit of that vein away right there next to the, um, next to the pupil. So I think that looks real and it makes her eye have a really good feel. I made a little rhyme. I'm actually going to remove more opacity from that side now. I just want the veins to be subtle. Now, I need those veins to go over to the other eye. So, let me click and see that it's just about the same thing. So I can just about use exactly the same, let me show you what I'm talking about. I can use this one and just move them and then change the mask. So I can come over to here, duplicate it, remove the layer mask, Okay, I did. Let me take the V key, zoom in, and grab these veins and put them over here on this eye. Now I have those, I need to get rid of that vein right there, um, which is just too intense. Um, actually, I, you know what I want? I want to turn that one. So let me hit Command T and turn this, going this way. There, that looks better. And now let me make it a little deeper and come up with it. And now, boom. Now um, let me move it a little closer in and let me see what she has to offer as far as her eyes go. It's fine. I think that's good. Let me move this a little farther out there. And now I'm going to use um, my capability to, um, gosh, I really want to, I'm still not totally happy with it. Let's go like this. Let's flip it and bring it back down this way. And let me flip it this way. Okay, I think I like that better. I think I like that better. So now I'm going to go to the selection for the eye area and I'm going to add a mask to that layer. So let's find that selection again, which is eyes with no whites. So I go like this. I now click the layer mask button here and now that's been layer masked. Let me click on the layer mask and let's hit the B key and let's soften this right over here and soften this. So what I'm doing is I'm actually softening these veins right over here. And now I have veins on that part of the eye. And let me hit the, let me um, uncheck the link button and click on the image, not the mask. Did you hear that? What that I said? Look over here. I'm on the image, not the mask. I'm hitting the V key, and I'm going to zoom in and move these around until they feel better, and that feels better to me. Now I have veins on that part of the eye. I think I'll take the B key, and I'll click on the layer mask, and I'll just make that a little bit more subtle just a little bit more subtle right there. And now let me see if they're on the other side. Oh, she definitely has them on the other side. So all I need to do is duplicate it again, get rid of the layer mask, grab the image, put it on this side right over here, and now just go back to the one that said, um, with no tears and um, um, add the layer mask of that one by making a selection of it and now going over to the 
um, add the layer mask icon and clicking and now I have that one the way I want I don't even think I need to erase anything I think that one's good so now she has actually veins in her eyes and I am happy with that I like the whole feel of the subtle veins and how nice that looks now let me um, zoom in just a little bit more and then click the clicky copy and then I'm gonna go right to the freckles so um, I'm going to show you how I did those freckles. So I'm going to go, um, let me turn off the eye, to, um, close the eye layer. And I want to show you that using color range, what I did was I made a selection of the face. Now, go down in the layer palette and in the, in, in the channel palette. And can you see how I actually have freckles one, two, three, I actually have freckles left one, freckles left two, freckles right number one, freckles right number two, and the highlight freckles, especially on the nose, and then I had a little fixed freckle for over here on that cheek. Now, what I did with those and how I got them was simply like this. I went and clicked on the layer on the, um, clicky copy. I went to color range. Now you can do this and save whatever texture you want in four or five colors. Now look what I did. I'm going to zoom in on this and I want that freckle right there. Boom. You see how this got it right over here? Now if I click OK, there's your freckle. Now it didn't get the light freckles, so I'm going to have to do a dark and a light one. So what you need to do is to take and realize it's going to take more than one layer and more than one channel and more than one color. So don't just assume a freckle's a freckle. Look at the hue pattern of those freckles. So if I wanted the lighter value, I'm just going to command Z that back and I would have saved it. I would have saved it. Look at you would have saved it as a selection and as a color, right? You already know that. Now let's go to color range and let's not grab these let's grab this right there right off that nose right there now I'll up it or lower it depending on how much I want but look at now it got all those freckles so save that as a selection call it freckles number two save your color as freckles number two and then keep on doing whatever texture you want look at how I painted it so it's basically this simple now I'm gonna remove all of my freckles right here all of my freckles I got five freckle layers or six I had a freckles one Do you see that one that was the darker one I had a freckles two which even got darker okay and it got a little bit of the hair which I actually gosh and blurred up on top so I now have the freckles over on this side I now have the freckles on the top of this over on here so I actually used my freckle channels that I named one two three four five I named them in whatever order I wanted I'll click up to back up to the RGB image and now here comes the next freckle layer now the next freckle layer is here the next freckle layer is here and then the next freckle layer is there see that one I didn't have the one for the um, the last one, make sure that I'm on it, is the one where I got the freckles on the front of the nose. That was a separate one and in the highlight area because that was a different color. Now look how nice and natural that looks and notice how each one or almost all of them have layer masks because I wanted to um, paint out some of the freckles and a couple of them actually have their um, a couple of them have their um, opacity knocked back so I think I did anyway I know I did on one of them well maybe I didn't but I, I didn't I actually just used the layer mask to knock back the opacity if you know what I mean so now here is the veins in the eye and the texture on the face now if I click the clicky copy back and forth you can see that I'm doing pretty good I probably should lighten up this cheek over here um, and I have to show you that I've kind of started the lightening up process and what I'm saying is 
down here, let me see where I put it. I have a nose lighten area. Please look at the center of the nose here. Now that the freckles are in there, I realized I needed to have lower than the freckles a highlight area. Now I could click a new layer right above that and I could call it right cheek because it's her right cheek. Lighten. It's kind of like a fixed layer, you know what I mean? So I'm going to turn on this which is the clicky copy, hit the B key, toggle the brush a lot bigger, and I'm going to grab this color right here, which is underneath. Now, I'm going to turn off the clicky copy, and I'm going to brighten this cheek area by just now painting underneath. And look at how nicely that is actually brightening that. Look at how I'm actually bringing in a little bit more of that value. Now, I think I actually need to move it up in the list here for it to truly show up. Okay, I moved it up too high. So let's go down a little bit. And now that was the proper layer, if you follow what I'm saying, for it to actually show up. Let me Z it back once and Z it back again. Down here, it didn't show up very much. I needed to move it up higher so that it showed up. Let me see where it is again. I needed to move it back up so I actually now I'm seeing it, uh, maybe one more layer higher, and that looks really pretty. Now she has a nice highlight on that cheek. Now if it's too bright, I can just go and knock the opacity back on it, and in fact I'll zoom in a little bit, and then I'll end this movie, because I'm ready to start the hair and the Wacom tablet material. So um, I have this at 95% opacity. I just want to play with it. You either take it away or you put it back. And look at how you have so much freedom in this application. So I hope you're enjoying this. I am, and it's fun to do. Okay? And that's my artistic license on her. I wanted a little bit more tone in there than what was in the original. And again, I'm not done underneath the eyes or around the, the depth of the eyes. When I do the eyebrows and I put in the hair, it'll really help. So I hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you in the next movie.